Welcome to another episode of Kamado Tote Barbecue. Today, we're going to be using the Big Joe. For the last two or three weeks, I've been using Kamado Joe Jr., which has been a phenomenal experience. We've done some good, good amounts of cooking on there, and we've shown how practical it actually is. Being able to even do a whole roast chicken inside it, and it was the most tender and most juiciest chicken I've cooked in a while. So, 100% full marks for the Joe Jr. Today, let's go back to the Big Joe. And today I want to keep the whole chicken theme going. So I thought let's do something that's a bit more kebab style, right? So we're going to do chicken donad, which is obviously the rotisserie is going to be quite useful. So we're using the jotisserie today. And what we're going to do is marinate the chicken, uh, get all those lovely herbs and spices on there. I'll show you the video in a bit of how I'm going to marinate it. Um, get the temperatures up going on in the Kamado. Uh, looking at about 250 Celsius, so we get like a nice direct heat on there. We don't want to do it too hot because otherwise you'll burn the chicken. But we close this up, we'll get it going, and then we'll see how it goes. See you in a bit. Hey guys, so we're inside now. This smells phenomenal. So what I've done is I've mar marinated this for the last couple of couple of hours, maybe two, three hours. And what we've got here is we've got... Um, got mixed herbs which has a, it's actually a really nice blend this one it's got you know it's got thyme it's got parsley it's got um it's got a few random things as well but this is this is the one it's really nice um we've got some cayenne pepper for some heat um we've got some pepper we've got some salt uh we've got some pulbibad which is basically like a it's a red pepper spicy flakes it's really good, tastes great. It's not really that spicy, it's just, it gives it a nice little flavor. And we've also got the trusty garlic granules as well, which goes really well. And what we've done is we've put some yogurt into it so that it's all nicely uh, marinated together. As you can see, it's pretty juicy. Now what I'm gonna do is, <clears throat> I'm just gonna put this in to position. And this is gonna be sitting on the jotisserie. This is where the meat is going to be um, sitting on, so it doesn't fall out anywhere. It's only the second time I've used this, so hopefully it all goes to plan. So I'm trying to keep it quite central. What you can do is, as a trick, actually place it in where you think it's going to be, and then afterwards at least you know it's not too far to the side or to the middle, because obviously the heat basket's right underneath. So I'm just going to keep this pretty central. Now if I need to readjust it later, it's not a big deal. I'll just go ahead and do that. Um, make sure it's really tightly in there. Um, actually, what you do is you just keep the bottom one off and then you can do it afterwards. So, here we go. All right, this looks pretty good. Look at that. This is gonna keep turning like this, so fantastic. I will see you in a bit.
Okay, here we are. Phenomenal cook. Look at that, baby. Look at that. So what we're going to do is we're going to carve this up now. It's really hot. It's going to go. 